Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Our Natural Wisdom. We have some really cold weather moving in to our neck of the woods and probably yours too. A large part of the country is going to be affected by um, some really chilly stuff. Around here it's looking like wind chills like 40 below. That's Fahrenheit <laughs> for those of you that are not in the U.S. And it's pretty intense, right? That's really, it can bring up a lot of fears, a lot of concern, maybe even a little disconnection with nature because it feels a bit too intense. I want you to know that this is normal because this is our, our instinct that is coming out of us as animals that have, have evolved on this earth and experienced extreme weather conditions. So, I just, I wanted to pop in and remind you that even when we have extreme weather, like extreme cold, that is going to be moving in soon, um, it's really important to stay connected with Mother Earth. And one of the easiest ways that you can do this is by experiencing it. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go out there for a long, long time. That would be unwise and dangerous advice, but I do want to encourage you to get yourself bundled up and to just go out and be in it for even just a couple of minutes. Get yourself all bundled up and go take the garbage out or go stand on your front porch and just be in it and experience what it's like to be in that extreme temperature. Now, again, I am not condoning for long outings because it can be truly dangerous, but I wanted to pass along something that's, I think, mystical and practical, which is the importance of connecting with our, our, our clothing protections that we put on ourselves for these extreme conditions. Now, bear with me here. This is a little different, but I have found that it's really, it really connects us with the earth when we realize that we are wearing natural fibers, like especially wool in this time. It connects us with all of the protections that Mother Earth is providing us in abundance, the support all of the resources that she is providing us so that we can remain connected with her, so that we can be outside and experience weather, even extreme weather, and be protected while doing it and to be able to do it safely, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. I'm a huge wool fan. Um, and wool has come such a long way, folks. I don't know whether you grew up wearing wool sweaters that were itchy and scratchy and uncomfortable and made you sneeze and everything. And I know some people have allergies to wool, but wool has come such a long way in terms of being a very comfortable fabric to wear. I love merino wool and I wear it all the time. I understand that it's it can be kind of expensive, but especially if you have a fairly minimal wardrobe, you only need a couple of really good pieces of wool, merino wool, as layers. And this will allow you to enjoy these extreme temperatures and to be able to still go outside, even for a short amount of time. When I wear wool, there's something about, it really connects me with the land. I feel very connected with the sheep that it came from, with how they experience their connection with the earth. And it's just another way of being in tune and being aligned with the energies of Mother Earth and how we can appreciate it, have gratitude for all of the abundance that she is providing us in every moment. So I encourage you, yes, even in these crazy cold conditions that are going to be coming up here to just get outside even for two minutes. Get bundled up. Don't be crazy and go out there in your, you know, pajamas and short sleeve, <laughs> but get bundled up, protect your skin, especially on your face and your hands, and 
just breathe the air and feel how the air is coming in to your body because it's so cold you can really feel it and you know it'll freeze your nose hairs <laughs> and maybe freeze uh, water on your eyelashes really feel it just experience it I know it sounds crazy but it is another way of staying connected with Mother Earth and with all of the beauty and the abundance and the wisdom that she allows us to reawaken within ourselves so be careful bundle up and still get out there okay even just for a couple of minutes in these cold conditions be careful have fun, okay? Bye-bye.